And welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you here from Westlake Village, California. It's another bright and beautiful day out here. And I'm going to jump right in for uh, some economic news. Saudi Arabia just entered a trade alliance with China, Russia, India, Pakistan, and uh, Russia. So it is four Central Asian nations, which are... Guess what they're doing? They're trying to step further away from their reliance on the U.S. dollar. Then we got the big short. Uh, big short investor Michael Burry says he was wrong to say sell earlier this year, taking it back. So maybe a point for the bulls there. And Elizabeth Warren, she's building an anti-crypto army. Watch out. I would not sign up to join her army anytime soon. Um, bringing it into Bitcoin price action on the four hour, getting a lot of volatility yesterday. Uh, big, uh, big kind of, well, I wouldn't call it a bull trap yet. Uh, this does show, uh, you know, bulls are still making attempts to the upside. I would not be willing to uh, call it a trap until we get a four hour closure. Really uh, back below the 618, which is actually a little bit further down this green 55 right here. Any kind of a four hour closure below there. And I would call this a bit of a bull trap. Other than that, um, let's take a look at the hourly time frame, see if we're getting anything there. And waiting for the loading. <clears throat> and this is currently um, a pretty decent uh, trade setup on the hourly time frame. Um, off of the green 55, you can typically, uh, on the hourly time frame, expect a bounce of one and a half to two percent. Um, that would get invalidated with any kind of a hourly closure back below this wick, coming in at uh, 27,930. Uh, let's take a look at the daily time frame. The daily Stokes. We were talking about this, saying, "Hey, look." The uh, daily Stokes, if we cross back down from the critical zone in this fashion, that is typically a bearish signal there. Um, but we did have a massive green girthy candle yesterday, and we did get some follow through uh, pretty much after market closure uh, yesterday, but uh, the follow through got faded pretty quickly. And um, we also said, hey, look, if we really want to see continuation on the four hour time frame, we'd want to see a four hour closure above this wick coming in at about twenty nine thousand. And that would be good enough for me to uh, look for some higher prices. The next target on the four hour would be um, basically coming in at about thirty thousand bucks. So it is Thursday already. Friday is a very important closure for the weekly time frame. Um, the weekly is uh, when I talk about the CME. The CMEs will close tomorrow at, I believe it's uh, 3 p.m. Pacific time. I could, oh, let's see, when does the day close? My bad. Three hours and 51 minutes from now, it's about 10 a.m. So that's, sorry, that's about 1, 1 1.30, call it 1.30, 2 o'clock Pacific time. And we do have a massive consolidation range here. You know, you'd want to see, uh, in fact, the Stokes flip around here or at least remain crossed up. You don't want to see um, two crosses down, you know, very similarly over here. We got the uh, cross down, cross up, cross down. And the third one pretty much uh, put the uh, put the nail in the coffin for the last rally. The third one down, yep. And uh, she came down pretty hard from there. Uh, what else do I see? Declining volatility here. So uh, mean reversion bounce seems to be more likely than not. And again, we've been targeting a move down to the $24,000 to $25,000 range. There is a gap down here at $20,000 to keep our eyes on as well. And what else do we have here? Um, something to note in uh, the Gaussian channel here. 
on the five-day time frame. Credit to Crown for pointing this one out. Uh, definitely had a closure above the mean ban yesterday. So this does goose the odds in the favor of the bulls for, you know, probably a run uh, up to the top side of the band. As you can see, that's coming in at about 33,000 for CMEs. And that's exactly what we got. So do we test back down to about 27.7 and then lift off tomorrow? I, I, I wish I had a crystal ball for that one. But um, at the moment, we are seeing, um, you know, Stokes remain crossed up on declining volatility. So not exactly the signature we're looking for on CMEs, but on spot price action, um, we do have a different signature and uh, we got about one day's one day and seven hours as long as Bitcoin is above 26,500. These will remain to the upside as volatility is expanding and the average move produced from that is about 40 percent. So we are already there, but the Stokes crossed up from this region. Let's see, let's mark it off. The official cross up here was right here. And that's on this candle. So if we did take another 40% from that level, 40% would bring us up to that $34,000, $35,000 range. So uh, something to be aware of right now, the bulls are favored because the higher term time frames on CME are looking bullish. However, uh, the daily Stokes, you know, this move needs to get uh, moving sooner than later if we are going to see continuation uh, from a daily or a, even a two-day perspective. We got the first cross down and uh, on the daily here tomorrow, uh, we will be crossing back down below 28.6. Sorry, this is spot price action CMEs. 28,772. So unless the uh, party gets started to the upside here in the next day or two, um, it is going to look like a bit of a rejection. And then we do play out. Uh, the original move we were talking about uh, was a move down to this nine exponential, which we pretty much got that move. Um, you know, close enough is close enough. Um, and I would say if we can close above the mean band on the weekly time frame that's coming in on Sunday for spot price action, that will look good for that continuation up to about 33,000. I think that's it for me today, guys. Watch out for Elizabeth Warren in the crypto, the anti-crypto army. Uh, I don't think, I think she's going to be losing her place like Hillary did. And, uh, I hope you guys have a blessed and highly favored day. Take care.